So I was diagnosed Halloween, on Halloween of 2011, with a stage 1B2 cervical cancer. I went through the standard course of treatment. After I completed treatment, I had clean scans, so there was no tumor. My tumor had shrunk and was not detectable on the scan. Three months later, started having terrible um, pelvic abdominal pain. Went to the doctor and found I still did have cancer cells that were active. I said, so what treatment is available? And he said, there's no chemo, there's no radiation, there's no surgery for you at this point. Um, he said, but if there is an immunotherapy trial, I'll look and see, that would be your outside chance. <laughs> I said, what's immunotherapy? I've never heard of it. That was in July of 2012. He contacted Dr. Hendricks at NIH. Um, and found out that he had just started a clinical trial for HPV-caused cancers three months previous. My main focus is clinical research, so all of my patients are on clinical trials. I see the patients and take care of them on a day-to-day -day basis, just like other doctors. What's different is we're not treating them with a standard medicine that's already been developed. We're working with them to develop new medicines for the future. And she enrolled on a, a new clinical trial that we had that was a cellular immunotherapy. Immunotherapy is a type of cancer treatment where we use the patient's own immune system to fight the cancer. The main type of immunotherapy that we're focused on is called adoptive T-cell transfer. T-cells are the immune cells in your body that are able to specifically attack tumor cells. They're also the same cells that protect you from viruses. We take T cells from the patients. We actually grow them up into large numbers in the laboratory and then give them back to the patients to fight their cancers. I felt like a partner of theirs. It wasn't like a patient being treated. It was really more like, you know, here's what we're going to do, explaining every step in the process, helping me to feel comfortable. Um, and then also becoming like personally involved because Dr. Hendricks, he can't leave his lab, I guess, for two days straight. So a lot of Saturdays he's in the lab, you know, working with his cells, tweaking his cells, whatever it is he does in there. And, um, and he would come by the hospital and see all of his patients on Saturdays before he left. So he'd go visit his patient cells and then he would go visit his patients. So I thought that was really, you know, um, just that they did treat me like a partner, not like a thing to be studied. So I got into the trial, was treated in March of 2013, and was two, one of the two patients in that trial out of 16 patients that they treated who had it work. And all my tumors disappeared within two months. I had dozens of measurable tumors, liver, um, bladder, kidney, pelvis, lymph nodes, all cancerous, and um, in two months, all clean on a scan. So here I am. And it's been about five years now that she has been cancer free. So of course the treatment really benefited her, but it's also been very valuable for our research. Many of the T cells that we gave her were targeting a tumor antigen that we hadn't previously been interested in. A tumor antigen is just a protein in the tumor that the T cells are able to target. We've been able to capture the gene sequence for the genes that were letting her T cells uh, target this antigen, and we can transfer that gene sequence into anybody's cells and make it so that anybody's cells can target that antigen. And so this is the basis for a new treatment that we're developing in the laboratory, and it was all possible because of Sue's participation in the research. That was really the whole reason I wanted to do a clinical trial. There wasn't much chance of my treatment working for me. I ended up getting lucky and it did, but really it was more about um, how can I help science? How can I help the next person who ends up here? For me, hope was a really important thing. Um, and that this trial actually did offer a tiny glimmer of hope for me um, and to be able to hold on to that and let that empower me um, and kind of carry me through, that was important. Um, there's so much that kind of, sorry, there's so much that kind of takes away from your hope when you're sick. And um, so just having a little glimmer of hope and being able to hold on to that is really important. I think it's important that we try to develop the medicine for the future. The NIH Clinical Center is entirely dedicated to research. It has a fantastic research community of other researchers with the ability for us to all work together to make advances that we couldn't make if we were all separate. U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, National Institutes of Health, National Cancer Institute, Cancer.gov, 1-800-4-CANCER. Produced December 2017.